Hello and welcome everybody, King Demps here. Now, I gotta be honest, this video is not for everybody, right? If you are capable of tying your shoelaces, if you know which end of the spoon goes in the cereal to like get the cereal out of the bowl, if you are able to walk in a straight line without walking into stuff and bumping your head and falling over, then this video is probably not for you because you're a normal person. And you have a brain that you use to go about your daily life in a positive and meaningful way. But if you're not one of those people, right? If you're an idiot, and, and you'll find out in this video, don't worry. If, if you are an idiot, you'll find it out. Then this is for you, okay? And this will hopefully fix you and add some wrinkles to that grey matter, right? That's sloshing about in your skull. And, and hopefully, hopefully, by the end of the day, you'll be able to tie your shoelaces you'll be able to know which end of the spoon goes in the cereal bowl and you'll be able to walk in a straight line without falling over or bumping into stuff, okay? That's the service I'm gonna to provide to you today, right? Obviously what I'm talking about, right, is the top 20 players of 2021. Now, HLTV always gets tons of dumb comments, right? Tons of stupid ones, tons of troll comments, obviously. And this series is no different. This series is in fact worse because it's one of the biggest things that HLTV does throughout the year. But I just wanted to particularly delve into this argument, right? And it seems to mainly focus on Shiro and Nico and why Shiro has been put four and Nico has been put somewhere above Shiro. We don't know yet whether Nico is going to be two or three because realistically, Simple's number one, right? But let's just delve into some of the comments and some of the brain dead thinking that has gone into some of these comments and, and we'll we'll start to build a picture of what exactly is wrong with the way some people think about this top 20 list. Right, so first things first, and this is just going to be something that's super obvious to most reasonable and rational people. So at the bottom of every Headshot TV top 20 article, there is a section that begins with the title, Why was X, in this case Shiro, the X best player of 2021? And what this section attempts to do is it attempts to talk about their positive things for the year, the things that help them earn a place on the top 20 and a place as high on the top 20 as they did. And then there is a section towards the end here where it is explained why this person didn't get higher on the list. Now, ignoring the reasoning in itself, I'm not going to go into it just now, but I will go into it a little bit later. We've seen the reasoning for Shiro of why it was so high and why he didn't get higher. How can you argue about the reasoning for putting Nico above Shiro when you haven't even seen the reasoning yet? You don't know what this section says for Nico. So you might get to the list and be like, oh, oh, my favorite player, Shiro, he was put below Nico. You don't know why yet. You might read the section on Nico and think, huh. That makes a lot of sense. Wow, it's almost as if they thought about it before they did it. Damn, son. Mind-blowing, right? I just had to take a moment there and just, like, collect myself because, like I say, the stupidity just, it's mind-blowing. So, yeah, you can have some discussion in the comments. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that, the, that there's no point discussing it until you've seen the Nico reasoning. But some people, like, the, the conviction with which they talk about it and, like, the, 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 the worst one is, is, and we'll get to a little bit more of this later, is putting words into, like, HLTV's mouth, right? Is putting words and saying, oh, I know why, this is why HLTV did it. You don't have a fucking clue. You literally don't. And we'll get onto that in more detail in a second, right? So, so this is a comment, okay? And at first, you always got to check if the comment's a troll, right? So, especially with a guy whose name is Simple Zero Major, right? It just seems like a troll. But you go down and you look and you're like, and you read some of his other comments, and it seems like he's being serious. He's trying to have a, a genuine debate here, right? Okay. So, let's let's break this comment down, right? I would expect a Dupree fan to be smarter. Diseased. Like, like insane. Like, what, what, what does this mean? What the hell? Why is a Dupree fan smart? Like, why would you expect them to be smart? Like, I don't even understand how, what twisted fucking wet sock you have in your head in place of a brain to, like, say something like that. And he's saying it in a fucking serious way as well, right? If this is a joke, like, that, you can laugh and that's funny. But, like, it's not. This guy is genuinely saying I would expect a Dupree fan to be smart. Okay, whatever. 
So it turns out, um, I don't even know how to pronounce Peter's, like, fucking, you know, his, uh, his tag. I don't know how to pronounce that. But he's the guy who's largely responsible for, for the rankings, right? So it turns out he's really a fanboy of Nico. Why? Because he put Nico above Shiro. Like I said, you don't even know the full reasoning yet. If you were in any doubt, and I will go into this more. In fact, let, let's go into this right now, right? Okay, so Trudy is a fanboy of Nico. So he's suggesting that there is no reason other than being a fanboy of Nico to put Shiro above Nico. Right, let's look at it. Okay. So this, this is the reasons he didn't get higher, right? So this is the reasons he didn't get above Nico. This is all excellent. You know, he was an amazing clutcher, very low deaths, high number of fragging, um, like incredible in, in most 1VX, by the way. Really, really good clutcher, Shiro. Probably his best, um, like, aspect in terms of impact. His clutching is amazing. Uh, and he's got, like, great EVPs and MVPs. Was really consistent tournament to tournament. Very successful in opening duels, even though he doesn't take that many. Like, all of this is wonderful, right? But these are the reasons that he didn't go higher, okay? Now, first off, he very high floor, obviously. But his peaks weren't as impressive in compared to the other candidates for top three, right? Now, let, let's look at this. So here, we've got... Uh, wait, let me just check. You can see this probably. I'm cutting off the top of Shiro's, but we'll we'll look at it like, you know, something like, like this. Right, so this is their event history side by side, right? Now, let's look at Shiro's peaks, right? Massive peak here. Really impressive, right? Super amazing. Great numbers. Mad kill differential. Almost 0.9 kills per round. Ratings high as fuck. Sick tournament, right? V4 Future Sports Festival. Okay. Now, soft spot in my heart, right? First event I attended for HLTV and covered. But it wasn't the best field, right? You had Big, you had Fiend, you had Movistar Riders, you had Entropic. Those were the other good teams there, right? Now, they're good teams, don't get me wrong. They're top 20 teams, all solid. Entropic, probably a solid top 10 team, actually. And I think they'll go on to be so this year. Not top five. Not truly elite competition, right? It's just facts, right? But he does get a little bit of extra credit because it was on land. It wasn't in front of a huge crowd in a stadium or anything, but it was on land, so that is some credit there. All right, his other big peak of the year, I am full. So those are the two peaks that were mentioned in the in the reasoning, right? I am full. Again, not an elite tournament. Navi are there, and he deserves credit for that. Like, Navi are there, winning tournament again, 0.9 KDR, plus 100 kill differential. Mazza numbers. But again, not the best tournament, right? Outside of Navi... You have Virtus Pro who aren't in the best run of form and they're literally just about to change a player attending. The final was supposed to be best of five, wasn't because the players didn't want to fucking play a best of five, right? So that shows you how serious this tournament is by the time we get to the final, right? That the, the teams literally were like, ah, we're not playing best of five. And the ESL were like, okay, okay, I guess you can play best of three then. And the final didn't mean anything for seeding. So like, Na'Vi don't give a fuck. Like, it's just not an elite tournament. It just isn't, Okay. And whereas you look at Nico's peaks, where are Nico's peaks coming? Oh, the major, where he carried his team to second place. Oh, that's 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 a pretty cool peak. That's pretty cool. Not bad. You know? Other peaks coming in like Blast Falls, you know, other other sort of like top end ratings, like higher than some of the ratings. Like, look, this, you know, this is better than Shiro's putting up at the very, very best events. Yeah, alright. Nico went Nico went pretty ham, right, in the in the back half of the year. That that we can agree on. And, the, it, like, the first half of the year it wasn't as ham for Nico. But, like, if you're taking one of the reasonings being the peaks, it's clear to see that Nico's peaks were at the better events. They were at bigger, more important, more well-attended events. Particularly the major. Like, this peak right here, which it, and it was his second best rating, I think, for the year? Ah, oh, third. Okay. But, but one of his best ratings for the year coming in the major... And a run to second place in the major where he basically carried his team. That is huge. Okay. That, like that is so important when you're doing a, a, a top 20 list like this. All right. It has to be. You have to give extra weight to the biggest and most important events of the year. Okay. So, so there, there's one aspect of the reasoning already like kind of laid out for you in black and white. Right. Now, the other reasons, I'm not going to go into as much detail because it would take me too long to kind of like bring up all of the statistics to show you. But, you know, he um, he dropped off in the very biggest matches against top opposition. It was still good. He was still one of the good. 
but he only ranks fourth with a 1.18. That basically is telling you that the three people ranked higher than him, A, peaked higher in the better events, right? Which Shiro didn't. Shiro's peaks came in, in medium-sized and not as well attended and not as stacked events. He was still very good in big events, but not as good as the three above him, right? And then also his performance in the biggest matches, the very biggest games, not as good as the three people above him, right? And then the final thing, and this is actually really important, is his impact rating is pretty low, right, in general. Now, I'm going to show you something else here. Um, this, right, is an Excel sheet that I get given when I'm writing the, the top 20 articles list, right? And, and like, look at this, you know, it, it's awesome, by the way. This is really, really sick. Um, but look, at all, it puts it all nice and in one place for me, and I get to see how many 1VXs. Damn, I am Katavita, 19 1VXs. Oh, wait, you can't see it. Hang on, let me uh, let me move this for a second. There we go. Look at it. 19 1VXs, huh? Damn. Damn, my son going ham. And this is how you know Shiro is a sick clutcher. Like, look at, look at like, these clutch numbers, man, in events. Like, 15 maps, 9 1VXs. 12 maps, 9 1VXs. 17 maps, 19. 23, 11. Like, he just clutches, like, V4 was, was probably the craziest. Like, the rate at which he was clutching. At V4 or IEM, obviously, because 19 to 17 and 13 to 13. But... But I digress. The point <laughs> that I was trying to make here, right, is impact rating. Really good impact rating, really good impact rating. So IEM, V4, and the Blast Spring Showdown, really, really good impact ratings. But, like, you look, especially towards the middle of the year, like, this is where they're, they're, they won um, all three of these events. These were, like, their three back-to-back -back event wins in the, kind of their best patch of form in the year. Eh. His impact ring's not that great. It's it's actually pretty poor at the IM clone and the Star Ladder CIS and like EPL. It's not amazing. It was not great at the major. Not great in the last few events of the year. Actually, often Shiro's impact rating was not great. Or like it was it was decent. It was good, but not elite. Not elite. And you will a hundred percent see like this column would look completely different for Nico, for Ziwu, and for Simple. Like, that, this column is going to be, like, all green for those players. And that is probably the biggest thing that kind of, like... When you look at the top 20 this year, it was kind of, like... You know, the it was kind of basically the top sort of, like, 15 or, or 16 were in, like, you know, their own sort of, like, world. They were on their own scale. And then Shiro was kind of in his own little category below the top three, but above the rest. And in terms of raw numbers, he's up there with Simple Zero and Nico. Like, in terms of raw numbers, like KD and, and ratings and stuff, like, he's up there and, like, AWP kills per round. And, and he's up there with the very best. And for awards, like EVPs and MVPs, he's up there with, with the very best. Um, Obviously not Simple getting, like, 58 million MVPs. But but the thing he, he kind of, like, lacks on compared to those guys is this impact rating. Um, and that's partly because of the way Shiro plays. Um, he's not as much of a playmaker, particularly like early round, mid round playmaker as, for example, a simple Aziwo or a Nico. Nico particularly, man, like the way Nico plays is is crazy. He puts the game on his shoulders so often and so many rounds he just puts on his shoulders. And this is like the biggest for me reason that you would put Shiro at number four. And this is actually like the thing that kind of convinced me because I was going back and forth on whether I would put Shiro um where i would put shiro zero and nico nico between them because simple's the clear best obviously clear best from last year um and i went back and forth in my own head before we got to this sort of point where i knew shiro was four i went back and forth in my own head on on like where i would put those three and i could make reasons for any order of like zero simple and nico uh, zero shiro and nico like i, I could totally see a, a, a world where you put shiro two and then you put like Nico 3, Zewu 4, or Zewu 2, Nico 3, Shiro 4, which is probably, I don't know for certain. This is not like confirming anything, but I I assume that's what it'll be. It'll be Nico 3, Zewu 2, Simple 4, uh, Simple 1. Um, but I could have done it any way around. And this was the main reason that made me be like, yeah, I think Shiro is a, a, just a slim, just a little like half baby step. Like if if Simple, Nico and Zewu are S tier, Shiro isn't even A tier, he's A+. plus. Shiro is A plus tier. I would say like Hobbit, Axile, Electronic, Bit, they're A tier. 
Shiro is A plus tier. He is like half a step above those players, but half a step below the absolutely, truly elite trio that we have in the game right now. And this is the main reason. This would this would be this column not quite being up to par is the reason, right? Now the other reason, like while I've got this up, right, and um, it goes back to the to the to the comment, right, to the to the comment. Oh no, not this one. Yeah, this one, this one, this one, right. And it moves on a little bit here. It the list has become a popularity contest. All right, one. Just use your eyeballs and read. Right? You clearly can read because you use the forums and you type out dumbass comments. Read. It's there. It's in front of you. Just just read it. The reasoning's all here. Statistics, awards, sample size, consistency, recency bias. It's clearly not a popularity contest. If you wanted more confirmation... Oh, more stats and data. Is, was you, More? Oh, wow. Okay, okay. A bit more. Ah, uh, it must be done now. More? No. What? They actually use like loads of data points and 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 tons of statistics and like compare and contrast it between all the players. Wow! It's almost as if it's almost as if they don't just pick the most popular players or their favorite. It's almost like they they think about it and like and use stats and stuff. Wow! Wow! Yeah. You're dumb. You're dumb. Now, I got another uh, good comment here that I wanted to, to, to look at. Right. Imo Nico didn't even deserve top five. In of itself, nothing wrong with that statement. Nothing wrong with it. You, you, can, you can have a, a, a potential argument to suggest why Nico didn't deserve top five. I think it's going to be hard looking at the stats. Like, looking at the numbers, it's going to be real hard to actually come out with a a reasoned explanation as to why Nico didn't deserve top five, but comment in of itself isn't necessarily stupid. Immediately makes it stupid. Zero MVPs, uh, zero one tournaments. In my excitement, I clicked on the number one, which took me to the first comment. This has so little, in, in a sense, to do with the top 20 list. Now, at zero MVPs, not so much, because individual awards do count and are important. But what you've got to understand is this is super team dependent. Super team dependent. You are not going to get an MVP in the tournament unless you place top two. Top two. I don't think there is a single HLTV MVP in history that was not handed out to a player from the winning team or a player from the defeated team in the final. I can think of a couple of times uh, twists in... There was an IEM event, I want to say New York, when Maus uh, beat them in the final, Liquid. It was like a best of... I think it was a best of five. And twists went absolutely ham, somehow managed to lose. Uh, and there's been a couple of simple ones where simple's gone absolutely... Mm, like, so ham at a tournament. And Na'Vi, you know, contrived to lose back before they had this Wicked Sick team. So, like, MVP... Zero MVPs, yes. It's, it's like... It could form part of a of a sensible argument, but not in isolation like this. It, if you were saying Nico compared to X player, X player had this many MVPs, Nico had this many MVPs, they finished like that, then it could start making sense, but not in isolation like this. Like zero MVPs just doesn't mean anything. It's it's dumb, it's meaningless, it's stupid, it's a dumb comment. It's so team dependent. As is zero one tournaments, so team dependent. You could be the best player of 2021 and win no tournaments. You could. If, for example, Simple played exactly the way he's played this year, but every single final went the opposite way, you know, uh, let's say G2, uh, maybe it's hard this year because I think if G2 won that uh, major, you could potentially make an argument for putting Nico top one. But anyway, let, let, let's just say Simple plays the same way all year. It, he would still probably be the number one player this year. Even if every single final Navi had played in had gone the other way, he would still most likely be the best player of this year. Uh, uh, tournaments wins. Again, in isolation, 0-1 tournaments, it doesn't mean anything. It's so team dependent. It, it, the problem is Nico has Jax on his team and has Amanek on his team, like primary orping, and has like Nexa not playing his best and doing an in-game leading role that he doesn't even really want to do. Like, there are so many issues with that G2 team. 
zero one tournaments just doesn't mean anything it just it just doesn't and then this is some like i don't know this is like obviously the guy trying to think logically and just not capable of doing so he's like one third of the year he played like number one to two for two thirds of the year he played seven to nine if i math that out in my brain that's five to six i understand the point you're trying to make here but it, it just is no there's no like reasoning behind any of this yes for the back third of the year he was going fucking ham, but he was still really good for the first third of the year. Part of the reason for the back third of the year he looked so good is because G2 as a team overall looked a little bit better. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. This just this this little bit just like just yeah, again, it's somebody trying to be like, I am being scientific and logical, and just not at all being so. Oh, these now this was a good, these were a good two comments, right? So this one, uh, someone said Shiro over Nico. That's how it should be, but what can you do? Okay, so first off, we were afraid to put Nico on fourth because the community would be angry. Don't give a fuck. Don't give a fuck what your opinion is going to be. I can tell you that for a fact. No one gives a shit. What, Raise 49? No one gives a fucking shit what you think about the HLTV Top 20. Like, even fellow commenters don't really give a shit what you think. Like, you know, you're all just, most of you are just shouting into the void. Like, no one cares, dude. No, no one cares about the community being angry. Like, the community is going to be angry no matter how the list looks. Because someone's favourite player, someone's fucking best bud is going to not get the place they think they should get. Like, the community will always be angry. No matter what. So this, irrelevant comment. The best part is, though, is that he says the community will be angry when Nico gets put forth. But then he says... Even Simple is surprised about Shiro being fourth, so we don't like it when someone is dropped. So first off, you're saying we, the community, will will be angry if Nico gets put on fourth. But then he says we, the community, are angry about Shiro being fourth. And then claims he's trying to be objective. Like, I just can't... The cognitive dissonance... Nico was not put forth because community would be angry. Community is angry that Shiro is forth. I don't. Um, the inside of this guy's head is a must be a dangerous place to be. This one was wicked. I have to just quickly do this one. Everyone knows European kids are Nico fans. Okay, like th when somebody says something like this, right? You know that they're a little bit. Because everyone knows European kids are an eco fan. Really? Every European kid is an eco fan. How does everyone know that? That is just some. <laughs> that is just some moron being like, I think that European kids are Nico fanboys. Therefore, everybody knows that European kids are. Ne Do you know what I mean? Literally, just putting his own bias and then plastering it over his like window into which he views the world and being like that is fact dumbass anyway and they drive more money with their visits compared to russian clicks really so so i like i don't even want to like talk about this i don't uh, yeah okay and the rating system has become a fan service. We've already, like, talked about how dumb that is. So, you know. I just thought that that comment was so... This comment was so beautifully stupid. It might be a bait. Who knows? He's called Slav Lolly. And got an Indian flag. And is an Entropic fan. So I guess he's probably Russian, Slavic. Something like that. Um, you know, some... Uh, uh, but, you know, the Indian flag. You know, fake flagging. Whatever. Anyway. Dumb comment. And finally, we'll just close it off with uh, a couple of... Um, funny stuff from uh, from the twitter replies now there's actually a few reasonable twitter replies here this one not one of them hltv just can't accept the cis dominated what why what why do hltv care that cis dominated or didn't dominate other than it was a cool storyline for the year seeing gambit and navi battle it out okay uh tolerance kills everything nowadays i don't know what that that just makes no sense just doesn't like again barely barely coherent probably dribbling on his keyboard um these stats are insane fourth for low impact yes exactly literally you can summarize the whole of this argument with stats are insane but low impact that's literally it not 10 times in my book <laughs> that's funny that's funny not top 10 in my book book clowns yeah cool funny one 
Um, just not saying anything. Uh, but, 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 but there was one more. What the fuck did Siru and she Nico even win last year again? Are you serious, dude? Team achievements are team dependent. Relax, bro. Uh, and then the final one we'll look at. This was funny as fuck. Robbed any number two won't have these stats against Na'Vi. Picks one best of two from the whole fucking year. And he won't even understand why this is a dumbass argument. He'll be like, I owned them. I fucking oh, galaxy brain. And then obviously this dude completely shuts the fucking idiot up with one screenshot. Dumbass argument in one screenshot. Completely slapping that dumbass argument down with one screenshot. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little video. It, oh, it kind of just ended up being a rant and wasn't very uh, structured, but A, hopefully it was entertaining content. Um, you know the drill. Like, comment, favorite, subscribe. Tell your grandmother, specifically her, not your granddad. He's a dick. Don't want him watching my channel. And if you didn't like it,